Hello guys, uh, I'm just uh, heading out on this uh, beautiful 62 degree morning. Uh, it's gonna get to the 80s today, but uh, I think uh, for now it's nice and uh, comfortable. And uh, I'm just gonna head out on my uh, usual route. <laughs> uh, good to be back on the bike. Uh, couple of weeks uh, I took my wife out <laughs> on the bike first for the first time and uh, yesterday I took my daughter out on the bike and it was it was fun um, first time I was uh, really careful uh, with the pillion but uh, yesterday with my daughter I was able to you know uh, lean into the corners and stuff like that so I think uh, that's good practice so hopefully uh, I will do some long trips with my wife I think but we'll see but uh, yeah, uh, it's been pretty good. The uh, lockdown is uh, is all right. I guess social distancing is uh, uh, easier to do on the motorcycle. And uh, what I'm thinking is uh, uh, things are starting to uh, get better. And uh, luckily for us here in Texas. Uh, things really didn't get too bad. Uh, the hospitals and stuff were uh, uh, not overloaded at all. Maximum capacity was like 30-40%. So uh, people have been uh, catching it pretty early. So they were, people are taking uh, precautions. I think, uh, yeah, my two cents on this whole thing is that um, looks like it's affecting uh, older people more than younger people and hopefully uh, one of these drugs uh, remdesivir or hydroxychloroquine should uh, take care of business like Tammy flu <laughs> but anyway that's a separate story well, let's get back to the beautiful motorcycle riding in uh, Prosper Texas it's beautiful here uh, Things have changed considerably since I moved in. <laughs> All these things have come new. We just had the one CVS right on the right hand side here. Uh, this bank building has been redone. That I can see some ground clearing on the other side. This used to be a two lane road right from Frisco to here. But uh, progress, this gas station is new probably a meeting point for uh, young boys and their bikes then uh, uh, yeah this is the good old street I love the street uh, one of my daughter's classmates used to be a, a police officer here in Prosper <laughs> and he used to live down the street People waving at you. Yeah, that's what Prosper is all about. That's a beautiful, what is it? Chevy something. So, yep. This coming down this hill. Uh, you can see far away. I think it's better on the other road parallel to this one, which is called Broadway, which is the main street of Prosper. All of 30 feet wide, <laughs> 20 feet wide. Nice prosper. Yeah. Mayherd Farms is right here. They make eggs. They're going down the first street of Prosper. Taking you on a tour of Prosper, Texas. Small businesses, I guess. Hopefully they got their cash. This is uh, crossing onto Coleman and this is a Presbyterian church which has been there forever. That whole land out there is going to get totally built out. That's called the Gates of Prosper. You can see the whole shopping mall there. Oh, look at this is the uh, town building. Beautiful Prosper town center. We are actually going parallel to 380 here. So we will hit the tollway service road of the tollway and head on to 455 and then we'll do our usual stuff 
but uh, it is beautiful. Oh, look at the silos there. I hope they now get rid of it. Uh, get over Prosper, Texas. Okay, guys, so I will talk to you in a bit then. Uh, here we uh, are turning on to 455, the, the greatest road in North Texas. I look at it uh, and treat it like a road with uh, fast, slow corner, sorry, slow corners. But uh, you can, people try to come here and uh, practice their skills because there are a lot of uh, tighter corners here. Whereas uh, there's 121 which I'm gonna go, that's a little faster corners on these, uh, on, on the road here. So and this road is a little pickle. I used to get really scared about these roads when I started riding. I'm getting slowly better and better. You can never say you mastered anything. But there you go. So this is the legendary 455. I guess in a matter of years, it'll just become a main thoroughfare with all these corners smoothed out, I think. But uh, till then, enjoy the roads. Uh, I'll probably show you guys a few of the slower corners here on this part of the 455. Is good. This goes all the way from um, the two big uh, freeways we have going north which is the 75 and uh, 35 although it extends far west of that too but the sections where people pretty much come and have fun with us between these two see the surface is uh, a little uneven so uh, it's a little tricky okay so left and a right hand are coming up 30 mile an hour so that's why it gets a little tricky here slow down slow down slow down slow down probably drop the bike a little bit to get more traction and start leaning out back out <laughs> trying trying this leaning out uh, strategy for high speed corners and uh, dropping the bike like a supermoto for the low speed so and especially if you don't have good traction I think that's a better way uh, that's what I will figure from YouTube videos see again here now the right hander drop the bike don't use the brake just drop the gear and now I can just Yeah, lean the weight over, but just like off-road, but for slow corners, that seems a better idea. Anyway, that's what I, is my theory. Uh, we are reaching uh, the intersection of 377, which is uh, the town of Pilot Point. So this is my usual route I'm showing you guys. So I come here, make a right. then uh, make a right on 121 which is basically uh, uh, takes me back on the other side one of the sides of the quadrilateral basically which I'm going to be doing pilot point so here we are approaching the town of Tioga which is on 377 and uh, this is where we hit 121 121 junction 121 heading towards Gunnar Gunnar is a town north of Salina and Salina is a town north of Prosper 
now you're getting an overview of North Texas towns. <laughs> Oh, that's a cool Harley and an old Vanguard. Wow, that's probably a vehicle my grandfather used to drive. He took my my mom and her four sisters on a on a lot of road trips on that car. I've heard so many stories growing up. <laughs> yeah, interesting. What do you see? So this road has got. Uh, Slightly faster sweepers than 455, but a lot of people don't come here. They just stay right on 455 because I guess they don't know this road as well. looking rig out here. I've always wanted to stop by this place. Uh, beautiful. Typical Texas. You can get some pictures here. This is what's called this is what's riding is all about. It's beautiful. Oh there's a rig right there too. That is gorgeous. Device connected. Okay, back on the road again. That was a lovely detour. I've been wanting to uh, go to the place. I've seen the oil rig, old oil rig, sitting there. I was just thinking, man, I need to check it out. face down the easier it is uh, to increase speed so if I'm coming too hot into the corner all I need to do is get my face further down that's all it is you know I'm no expert but that works for me so coming 45 speed limit I'm in 60 60 gear 62 then I'm gonna use the brake just drop a couple of gears and then drop and then gorgeous day and the sun is getting a little warmer 73 degrees but Hey, we are back 
where we started uh, 428 and 455 uh, it's a beautiful day of riding uh, hopefully uh, things will open up and uh, we will be able to make some uh, overnight trips and also some trips with uh, the guys and hang out a little bit more so we will uh, talk to you guys later then bye bye